telling you about how you can rank up the fastest you possibly can in Modern Warfare 3. And I'm going to be talking over a gameplay. This is Kill Confirmed on Dome. And I chose this gameplay because Kill Confirmed is a new game type. So I figured you guys would want to see that. But it's also a really fast-paced game type. You know, I, I mean, I have quite a few Super Beast gameplays in this. But this one is a little bit more mediocre. It's like 35 and 7 or something. I'm not sure. But um, anyway, it's just it's really fast-paced. And that's what Kill Confirmed is all about. So I figured it would be cool to show that gameplay. But um, anyway, talking about ranking up fast in Modern Warfare 3, there's quite a few different things you can do so here we go number one is pretty obvious depends on what game type you're playing so like in kill confirmed you get 50 points for a kill and search and destroy you get 500 points for a kill so you really have to find your game type so you know think about it are you good at search if you are then you may want to hop in there if you aren't like if you don't get too many kills in search and destroy it may be better for you to play a respawn game type where you can get more kills and get more xp and more kill streaks and stuff like that now also you really 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 want to look at challenges and I know that seems kind of obvious but it hasn't been as important as it was in previous Call of Duties. There are so many challenges to be done in this game. It's crazy. They have daily challenges, they have weekly challenges, but more importantly, they have weapon challenges. You guys have to do your weapon challenges if you want to rank up fast, and you have to be using different weapons so you can take advantage of all those different challenges. So, uh, for weapons, I believe it's like for 250 kills, you get 5,000 XP, and then for 500, 750, and 1,000 kills, you get 10,000 XP each for challenges for those. So, uh, you know, you have to to be using weapons you have to use it up until you get those challenges and then switch to a new weapon and start doing its challenges and then also take a look at the challenges for the different attachments like red dot sight rapid fire extended mag stuff like that and use the attachments proficiency so you can be using two attachments at once so that means you're working on two challenges at once so that's really really going to speed up the process now apart from kind of the general obvious things what can you do like what game types and what little secrets do I have for you well number one is kill confirmed this game type is great for XP. You can pick up so much XP. So uh, you're seeing that I get 50 points for a kill, and then 50 points for confirming a kill, and then 50 points for denying a kill. So that is a ton of points. And there's actually a little strategy you can do with teammates that I'm going to tell you guys about later in a later video that you can maximize how many points you guys get. So uh, Kill Confirmed is very, very, very good to rank up and get a lot of XP. You guys definitely have to check it out. Now another thing you can do is use the Specialist Strike Package, and that's the one that gives you extra perks so the reason why that is so good is because when you earn one of those additional extra perks at 2, 4, or 6, or 1, 3, and 5 if you're running hardline, is it gives you bonus XP for doing that. And then if you get 8 kills in a row, or 7 kills with hardline in a row without dying, you can get this specialist bonus, which gives you like 500 points, and then it gives you an extra couple hundred points for every kill you get after that. So it's crazy, guys. If you can get 8 kills in a row with that specialist package, you are absolutely going to rape face in terms of XP. And to kind of give you an example, of how good this actually is, my buddies Jushra and Ernest Lee were the guys that figured out this strategy, and the link to their channels are going to be down in the description, they're both really good, they're going to have a lot of great Modern Warfare 3 videos, but um, anyway, so they figured it out, they were both using specialists, whereas I was using assault, and they got to level 60 from level 50, before I got to like 55, or something like that, you know, it was super, super quick, they were getting like double the amount of XP I was getting, so that is how much better specialist is than anything else, so you definitely have to check it out. Now another thing you may want to consider, if you aren't really comfortable with specialist and you know you're still kind of getting used to the game because this video is going to be released on release night, so you may not know everything about the game, you might not be able to get those big kill streaks. You could also run support, which is going to do pretty well for you. And there's quite a few different kill streaks that really help you out with that. So uh, number one of which is ballistic vests. You can put those bad boys down and your teammates can come pick them up and they'll give you 50 points for each ballistic vest that is picked up. You could also run the recon drone, which is this thing that you can fly fly around in the air and tag enemies and it's gonna let your teammates know where they are on the radar kinda like a blackbird and every time one of those guys is killed you're gonna get points for that and then uh, one other thing you could do is the escort airdrop and uh, that's kinda like this big Osprey Gunner airplane comes in and it drops four care packages and uh, hacked care package so usually you're gonna get a good kill streak in there you know like a stealth bomber or a juggernaut or something like that so you can use that you can get a couple kills with that and then you can also let your teammates get the other three care packages which is gonna give you the share package points and you'll get a couple hundred points from that as well as you'll have a hacked care package that is dropped and an enemy will pick that up and you'll get even more points from that so that is very very good it's gonna get you a lot of points and uh, all you need for it is like 18 kills and you can even die in between those so it's not that bad
And then finally, you can use double XP, and uh, you can get double XP or double weapon XP from the Prestige Shop, so that'll help you out. And then you can also get double XP from buying Mountain Dew and Doritos. And I'm sure a lot of you know about that, but if you haven't seen the video about that yet, an annotation will be up in the top part of your screen there. You can go watch it and find out how you can get double XP. So uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all later.